welcome, I'm Diablo and today I'm bringing you my game week 5 team reveal. How did I do in week 4? Not too bad, it could have been a bit worse, it could have been a bit better, let's be honest. 65 points, the main men for me were obviously Harland and Trent Alexander. Bit disappointed with Robinson, though he did get me 9 points so I'm not gonna, not gonna moan too much. Salah, unbelievable, Liverpool win 9-0 and he only gets six points. It's one of those weeks, it's just one of those anomalies. He had plenty of chances, could have scored a couple of goals, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So transfer-wise, going into week five, I've got three ideas that I think I need to look at. Silver being swapped out for Pascal. I look at the games that Brighton have coming up. I look at his current form, his price, seems acceptable. I mean, they've got Fulham, Leicester, Bournemouth in game week five, six, and seven. I fancy them to get nine points. Worst case scenario, perhaps a draw against Fulham, but I still fancy them to beat Fulham the way they've been playing. The game against Leeds, they were far superior. Leeds were actually really awful and they should have scored more goals. They were just a little bit unlucky, some good keeping and some, some poorly taken opportunities. Next, I suppose, is a bandwagon player, Rodrigo. I look at the fixtures again, Everton, Brentford, Nottingham Forest, nothing really there that I think Leeds should overly struggle with though the way they played against against Brighton, perhaps they should struggle because they were quite shambolic, they were atrocious, they weren't good at all, they really weren't that good at all, so perhaps they could be a, a, little, a little bit of an issue if I bring him into the club. And lastly, swapping out Martinelli and bringing in Odegaard. I really do like Odegaard. I think he's a fantastic player. Such a good attacking midfielder. I look at the games, Villa. I don't see him struggling against Villa. Villa, they're unlucky against West Ham. They're probably the better side to be fair. West Ham got away with it. United is probably their harder game, but I would probably think that could be a draw worst case scenario. And Everton, I don't see him having any, too many problems with Everton. The only added advantage is I could probably keep him in the team till game week eight and then seriously think about swapping them out game week nine onwards because nine ten eleven i've got uh spurs liverpool and city so there's there's three tough games coming up there but he has got a four week stint of what i would consider to be quite acceptable games game week eight if i'm not mistaken would be brentford so yeah that seems a pretty acceptable idea but we're gonna opt for pascal I'm going to bring Pascal in, get the silver out. The silver, I thought after the Manchester United game, he was going to kick on a little bit. I know he had some, he's had some injury concerns and injuries previously, but I just thought being back in the side, he might kick on. It hasn't come to fruition. That's the risk you take. That's the gamble. So I think a more sensible approach, something slightly different as well, would be Pascal. So I'm quite happy to have Pascal into the side, and we're going to go with a 3-5-2 formation. I think it's pretty solid looking at the game weeks. Looking at the teams that they're going to be playing, I expect Haaland and Cancelo. I definitely expect a better return from Cancelo than what he gave me in game week four. I expect Liverpool to kick on, though they have got a tough game against Newcastle. I don't think that's going to be a walk in the park, but I expect I still expect Liverpool to kick on from there. I expect Manchester United to kick on against Leicester. Leicester have been did just awful. Arsenal against Villa, I think that's points there. And obviously Andreas. Pereira and uh, Pascal going head to head. I expect them both to pick up pick up some points from those games. So yeah, that's my game week five team. Hopefully, I'll start to deliver some bigger points and start moving up the uh, the ranking system because it's 3.8 million is not really where I want to be. But it's um, yeah, it's it's still good fun. It's absolutely enjoyable, which is the one thing I love about it. And taking the risks that's that's football. If you don't take them, you never know. If you don't shoot, you don't score. So I've taken a shot. Hopefully, it will score. But there we go. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. And as normal, I will catch you next time.